Hi everyone, today we talk about the two stocks I bought this week. So as always, smash the like button and we'll get stuck into it. So the two stocks I bought this week were Hollywood Ball and Greg's. The common two, they're always on this list, aren't they? Um, so obviously Greg's was earnings and we saw a drop in earnings uh, and Hollywood Ball, um, just that I really like the company at these sort of prices. So just on a note, I might buy a few more US stocks again next week and I might buy these two again next week. Both positions for Greg's and Hollywood Ball, I increased by 10%. So it gives you some sort of you know, range how much I did increase them by. But we'll start with Greg's. Obviously, Greg's dropped off the, uh, their earnings. And overall, the earnings were probably a little bit disappointing. But at the same time, they weren't horrible earnings. The thing is with Greg's is that I saw this especially with what they have to the reported earnings. I saw a few people in the comment section going out and slating Greg's and saying that it's a bad company and it's not going to do well in like the next kind of couple of months and for sure if you think they're not going to do well in the next couple of months of course they're not going to do well because obviously they've had a massive impact with the cv but the problem is as a long-term investor which i am and you know some of you guys might be a little bit different to me but i invest for two to five years some of you guys might only be in there for the swing trades or anything like that which is totally fine but from someone in my point of view is that i hold stocks for two to five years and sure greg's is going to have a rough ride it, you know you see it in the share price you know that's why greg's is so low you know it's going to have a rough ride for the next six months but the thing is is that i'm not looking for how the companies are going to do in six months if anything i want them to go down in six months and for greg's in a two to five year outlook how do i see greg's performing from these sort of prices and i see it performing very very well and that's why i've invested into the company so much and obviously the earnings made it go a little bit lower, but when you look at the stock price now, it's crazy how actual low this company is because you now look at the company and you think it's nearly 4% off profitability. And you're looking at the company and you're thinking, look at the stock chart, look how low it is. And in fact, we look at the stock chart and the actual share price has started, it's pretty much reversed all the losses in earnings, which is a positive sign. Seems like we've got a bit of support here right now. But the thing is, is that it's so close to being profitable now. And that's all I all I need Greg's to do in the next couple of months is get back to break even because then you manage the company so much better. You know, you don't have to worry about debt, anything like that. And then when the CV situation calms down, which I think after winter, I think we'll pretty much be kind of through the full cycle now. Um, I think when we get to about April, May time, uh, I'll, I think cases will start dropping quite rapid. Um, and I think then we'll see, you know, a little bit more activity, people going out again, people starting to willing to get a lot of office workers in. Obviously, schools will be, you know, more consistent, universities more consistent. So I think from when we get past like the next six months, it's starting to look really positive for Greg's. And like I say, when we actually get down the line of two years time, I think we'll kind of be, you know, setting some decent numbers out for Greg's and you know when I, when you invest into a company I always say you know you got to look at why the company share price is going to go up so if I present the point of Greg's we look at Greg's and we look at what the the share price is and you go well the revenue is going to go back up to where it was the dividend's going to come back it'll eventually sort the balance sheet out in the next two to five years uh, with all the debt it's had to take on but you know you got a good management team there to get through it and a great brand and i think that when you look at a two to five years why is the share price going to go up from here it's you've you got a quite clear path how it's going to manage to do that and like i said the, the earnings were taken quite negative but overall i thought the earnings weren't the worst you know at least we moved in the right direction and we moved in the right direction by quite a bit you know we moved in the right direction by about four percent and if we do another four percent we were at break even so i think when the earnings got taken were there and you know they didn't move in the right direction i don't think they were terrible you know i think when you look at where the share price is it probably deserved to have stayed flat really um i don't think it should have increased because i don't think that they had that good of an earnings to deserve an increase but you know when you look at how cheap the stock is and what their earnings were they were okay you know they weren't horrible so uh greg's is one that i'll keep adding into because like i say i don't expect anything any miracles over the next six months I'm a, I'm a long-term investor you know the miracles will come in two to five years very much so like how microsoft 100 percent jd 208 percent tesla 250 percent square 100 percent ferrari 100 percent 
Um, every sort of company like that previously that I invested in, you know, the goods don't come straight away. If they, if they came straight away, you'd be a short term trader, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'm very happy that I added more into my Greg's position. And I think I'll, even over these next kind of three months, I'll still have some time to add into that position. So number two was Hollywood Bowl. And like I say, I, I previously said on the live stream, I'm actually really considering Hollywood Bowl now getting that position size really high up, probably equal to the likes of Greg's and also Boohoo, uh, very much like Dark Group as well. And also I think Right Move is another one that I'd love to really increase them sort of five positions where sound like really good core holdings for my UK portfolio and Hollywood Bowl is very much in like the Greg scenario and um, it's sold off absolutely huge on the stock chart let you know let, it's wiped out so many positives so many gains and it's back operating so does it deserve to be still at Covid lows when it's back operating probably not um, so any sort of dips in this one I wouldn't mind buying when I've gone past Hollywood Bowl it seems like it's really picking up so once again we might be dealing with a company that if they can get to break even numbers that's absolutely fantastic and then once again I, you know, I point to the point of why is this company going to make money why is the share price going to go up well it's massively sold off to where it was the company hasn't changed that much with its development it's just you know the COVID situation once again six months time it'll start to calm down two to five years time it'll be back in a very good pay place uh, probably paying some debt off on that balance sheet get, try to get back to a dividend the growth the revenue good management team and it's got a clear plan plan of how it's going to be increasing its revenue and profit by opening up more venues uh, so I put the idea you know why is the share price going to go up you've got your reasons why the share price is going to go up and the great thing now is you've got a, a discount and sometimes when you're at these sort of levels you know you've got to be ready for that volatility but when you're a long-term investor you're not looking at what's happening in the next month the two months the three months or you look at hollywood ball what they've done previously fantastic company pre-covid and i look at the company again and i think it'll be a fantastic company after covid after covid this company should offer you know 100 percent upside so i think Hollywood Ball is another company that I'd really love to add into. We'll see what happens because obviously the earnings, if earnings come out and they do quite well, that might obviously then move the share price up, which, you know, obviously Greg's didn't do. Um, but like I say, I think we've still got a bit of time to still buy into this one. And uh, yeah, this is, once again, Hollywood Ball is a company that I'd love to try and get back to a very, very good high position on the lines of Boohoo, Greg's, um, Hollywood Ball. Uh, even dark group right move them sort of like holdings of you know some really key holdings that i really want to build on i'd love to bought on to eight eight casinos a little bit more and um, that's another company that i do really like but unfortunately i'm up 80 percent on that one now after this week it was a very good run from that company so i can't really add into that one just right now um but yeah that one had, had a fantastic week on it on a side note anyway so those are kind of the two companies that i increased my positions by uh, by 10 percent so guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new around here, subscribe. As always, smash that like button and I'll see you in the next one.